Toyota Motor Sales offered key preliminary findings of technical field examination and testing that were performed on March 10th and 11th regarding an alleged runaway Prius event dramatically covered by national news media. Toyota engineers completed an investigation of the 2008 Prius that was the subject of a 911 emergency call on Monday, March 8th. Now, while there is more detailed analysis to be done, we're able to review certain aspects of the testing and what was observed. The accelerator pedal was tested and found to be working normally with no mechanical binding or friction. And it should be noted that the Prius is not subject to the recall for sticking pedals. The front brakes showed severe wear and damage from overheating. The rear brakes and parking brake were functional. The self-diagnostic system did show evidence of numerous rapidly repeated on and off applications of the accelerator and the brake pedal. The push button power switch worked normally and shut the vehicle off when depressed for three seconds as the 911 operator had advised the driver to do. The shift lever also worked normally and neutral could be selected. The neutral position is clearly marked and can be easily engaged by moving the lever left to the N position. There were no diagnostic trouble codes found in the power management computer, nor was the dashboard malfunction indicator light activated. These normal diagnostic capabilities are used by technicians for repairing the vehicle and are not related to the event data recorder, which was not activated because there was no crash. It is important to note that the Prius has a self-protective function that is a form of brake override. If moderate brake force is applied at the same time that the accelerator pedal is depressed more than halfway, the hybrid system's engine is cut off. As you may know, hybrid systems use electric motors for power, which switch to generators to slow the car down. The motor generator cannot both power and brake the vehicle at the same time. When there are conflicting commands to the accelerator and brake, the system shuts off engine power to prevent damage, leaving the conventional brakes available to stop the car. Now the system was tested under driving conditions and found to be functioning normally, indicating that if the accelerator pedal was stuck, pressing the brake pedal would have resulted in dramatically reduced power to the wheels. Since the recent publicity regarding recalls, Claims of unintended acceleration have inexplicably skyrocketed. This is an issue of complex and great importance, but rushing to judgment in the absence of facts and balance does the public a disservice. To say this incident was sensationalized would be an enormous understatement. Jumping to conclusions is dangerous, and investigations should be allowed to take their course. While our analysis is not finalized, Toyota believes there are significant inconsistencies between the account of the event of March 8th and the findings of this investigation.